There is no end to the adversary's deceptions. Please be prepared. Never take counsel from those who do not believe. Seek guidance from voices you can trust, from prophets, ears, and revelators, and from the whisperings of the Holy Ghost, who will show unto you the things what ye should do. As you consider these principles to invite and recognize the Spirit, consider the following words of cautionary guidance. For example, impressions from the Spirit will align with the scriptures and the teachings of living prophets. Nor need we seek counsel from exotic sources, prizing the novelty of the source and thinking such counsel will be more enlightened than that which we can receive from a humble prophet of God. Take your questions to the Lord and to other faithful sources. Study with the desire to believe rather than with the hope that you can find a flaw in the fabric of a prophet's life or a discrepancy in the scriptures. Stop increasing your doubts by rehearsing them with other doubters. Stop increasing your doubts by rehearsing them with doubters. Allow the Lord to lead you on your journey of spiritual discovery. To take charge of your own testimony of Jesus Christ and his gospel. Work for it. Nurture it so that it will grow. Feed it truth. Don't pollute it with false philosophies of unbelieving men and women. Hiram Page, one of the eight witnesses to the Book of Mormon, claimed to be receiving revelations for the entire church. Several members were deceived and wrongly influenced. In response, the Lord revealed that no one shall be appointed to receive commandments and revelations in this church, excepting my servant Joseph Smith, until I shall appoint another in his stead. Doctrine, commandments, and revelations for the church are the prerogative of the living prophet who receives them from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the prophet's runway.